because let me let me be honest with you before i used to chase clients to try and sit in my chair they always used to look at me and be like oh who is this little girl who's coming to do my hair they always used to screw their face they'll be like oh i don't want her to do my hair now i turn down clients honestly According to a report on direct line of business, on average, stylists in the UK only make 30K per year at the height of their career. But how are we meant to live on only that for the rest of our lives? Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me already, my name is Florence. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to become a high earning hairstylist. This video is relative, so it can be applied in many different careers. However, I am strictly targeting hairstylists in this particular video. But if you work in the beauty industry, so if you're a nail tech, you do different beauty services like waxing or you do eyelashes, these tips can be applied to those careers as well. The only thing I have to specify is make sure that you're good at what you do because if you're not good at what you do, then you're not gonna be able to make 100K. But if you're just starting out and you're not very good, remember practice makes perfect. There was a point where I couldn't cut pixie cuts and I couldn't do silk presses, I couldn't do colors, I couldn't do anything, but now I can do it with my eyes closed. So never give up on your dreams and make sure you practice until you get to the standard where you can be using these tips to make sure that you are a high earner. So if you are a hairstylist and you're interested in one-to-one -one coaching, I do provide that service. Please just feel free to contact me via email. My email and contact details are always at the bottom in the description box of each of my videos. So I'll leave that down below. Now, I think I introduced myself as Florence. As I said before, I'm also known as Naturally Immaculate, which is the brand that I have built for myself. So I provide hair services for my very large clientele and have recently ventured into the world of e-commerce. Now, I'm fairly new to e-commerce. However, I have managed to run a online shop that has been quite successful in the short period of time that it has been up and running. So in this video, I'm going to give you three tips on how to build and sustain a successful online business. If you are interested on how to make more money and revenue via e-commerce, I have done a video on that before and I will link it up here. And it is basically explaining to you how I make money through my online store. Now to begin, I am going to be telling you how to become a higher earning hairstylist making 100K plus every year. Now this is not gonna be a video that is a quick fix. You will have to work very hard and you will have to sacrifice a lot of social time, but it can be done. And you will be able to sleep, you will be able to eat and you will be able to live a normal life. So tip number one, make weekly targets and stick to them. So in order to make 100K per year, we're gonna have to go through some basic calculations. So 100,000 pounds divided by 12, which is 12 years in a year, which equals to, forgive me if I'm looking down cause I've got all my calculations and notes down here, um, which is equal to 8,333 pounds and 33 pence recurring. So you would have to make that amount of money each month to be on a hundred K. So there's loads of people who make that amount of money. So don't get scared about that figure. You just have to keep your eyes on the prize and the goal that you want to achieve. So from that figure, we've, we've got to go from 8,333 pounds and 33 pence recurring divided by four, which equals 2,083 pounds 33 per week. So you would have to have a goal of 2,000 pounds per week. 2,000 pounds with an excess of 83 pounds and 33 pence. But I like to work with round numbers, but I'll get to that in a moment. 
So let's just simplify this for ourselves. If you work five days per week, which I do, so I think most people work five days per week, and then you work a certain amount of hours per day. So for me, I like to work eight hours per day. Obviously, I don't always work eight hours per day. Sometimes I work more than that because I'm just a bit of a workaholic and <laughs> I mean, money makes the world all go around and I like to, I love my lifestyle, so I work very hard for it. But on average, you work eight hours per day. So now we have to calculate how much money we need to make per day. So now we're gonna get our number, which was our last number, which was 2,083 pounds, 33 pence recurring and divide that by five because five are the amount of days that we work. So five days in a week. So we're gonna divide that number by five days in a week, which equals 416 pounds, 66 per day. Don't focus too much on the maths because I've already done the maths for you. So you just need to figure out how to make the end amount of money, which is, I'm going to say 416 pounds and 66 pence per day. So that's how much money you've got to make every day to make 100K per year. So as I said before, I like to work with round numbers. So I'm going to make that number 500 pounds per day. So if you've got eight hours in a day, you need to make 500 pounds per day. You need to find ways to make those 500 pounds. So what you need to do is focus on your highest paying services. So for me, my highest paying services is texture release and my full work service. So with texture release, it can range between 130 pounds to 180 pounds. And then with my full works packages, they are based at hundred pounds where my clients get anything they want if they're relaxed or they have silk pressed hair within the hundred pounds. So you need to tailor some packages to cater to your clients for the goal of money that you would like to make. So I do weaves as well, which are a higher paying service. And also I do braids. Um, but I don't do braids that much, actually. Let's not lie here. I don't do braids that much because it just takes too much time for the money goals that I have. So what I tend to do is I make sure that I focus on the services that are shorter, which is texture release and my full works packages, which I can do in two hours, as well as some color services as well. So if I know that I can do those services within two hours, I know if I'm working an eight hour day, then I could do five clients and reach my goal. Me doing five clients is going to be less stress. I'm not gonna be overworked and I'm gonna be fine. So me doing five clients, that could be five full work services. That would be, say I would start at 12, finish at eight, doing five relaxes, which within that full works package, it would include a relaxer treatment if they want to have a semi-permanent color. So the treatment or the semi-permanent color both come under all, and then they would have their cut and finish all within that price. If you calculate with my prices, all of the things individually, it would come up to usually 105 pounds. So they would save five pounds by getting that bundle. So that is how the client wins and then I win at the same time. And to be honest, I am sacrificing five pounds, but what is five pounds in the grand scheme of things when I wanna be earning a certain amount of money every year? So on a day for full works, I could do five full works packages. However, if I wanted to work a little bit less, um, I could go for doing three clients, doing a texture release, ranging, depending on the length of their hair, depends on the price. And then I know that I can make my goal of 500 pounds per day, well, 450 to 550 in one day with just three clients. The main thing here is making sure that you reach your target. You need to reach your money target because you need to be able to make the amount of money that you would like to have in your bank account to sustain your lifestyle and to pay your bills, save and do achieve everything that you would like to achieve. However, I would definitely say that you need work-life balance. That's why I say focus on the services and only advertise those services. So if you look at my page, I only um, advertise pixie cuts, text release, and um, sometimes silk presses, but it's only because I like doing them. On the off chance, you might see some weaves, you might see some braided hairstyles. I do those occasionally, but I don't advertise them because they take too long. And if they take so long, then you're not gonna be making the amount of money that you need to make to achieve your goals. So that leads on to my next point, which is advertising. So advertise, as I've said, your highest highest paying services so the services that make you the most money make sure you advertise those services the most 
I would definitely recommend that if you want to advertise these services, I would say advertise them daily and use the social media that is your favorite. So for me, I love Instagram. Instagram is my thing. That's why I haven't really been on YouTube that much because Instagram, that gives me all the satisfaction that I need. Focus on reels and making, um, is it IGTVs? Making all of those type of videos on Instagram to basically boost your your income through clients that you reach and then you get new clients who will come and join your business, come and get more services and come and then line your pockets because this is at the end of the day, not everything is about money, but at the end of the day, it kind of is. You need money to survive in this life. All of these people are, who are saying money can't buy you happiness. It's, for me, it's better to cry in a Ferrari than to cry when you're homeless. So, you know, get that money, okay? Make sure you believe in yourself as well, because, you know, I started my business when I was a student in university. I had left a salon that I was working at that I thought was like my home of all salons. I thought that I was going to be there forever and it was going to be great, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then I ended up working at another salon, which was great as well. But then my health got really bad. So, you know, you need to focus on a business that is yours and you've always got to have a backup plan for how you're going to make money if you lose all the jobs because at the end of the day all of the jobs aren't going to be able to sustain you in the end if you can't manage to work them make sure you're dedicated at advertising and make sure you do it well because your business is going to be the your bread and butter that is going to be the thing that makes you your highest income i am only 26 and i have managed to build a successful business and I have got to a stage now where I have so many clients that I, I can't physically do all of them, that I have to look into employing more people and doing things like that. But, you know, it is, it's all about investing in yourself, making sure that you dedicate the time to make your business grow. And social media is the answer. Because let me, let me be honest with you, before I used to chase clients to try and sit in my chair, they always used to look at me and be like, oh, who is this little girl who's coming to do my hair? They always used to screw their face. They'll be like, oh, I don't want her to do my hair. Now I turn down clients, honestly. It is what it is. Now, step number three, be organized with your work calendar. Make sure you booking clients appropriately. So I have an online booking system. I use Setmore. I think that is, that's what it's called. I use Setmore. So um, you can literally organize your calendar and make sure you book in enough clients. So with my, my booking system, clients can book themselves in between 12 and eight. Then I have deluxe services, which are, a service that is outside of those hours, which is charged at as 25 pounds surcharge. And this, the reason why I have deluxe services is because if you have clients outside of your working hours on a constant basis, what is gonna happen is, is that you're going to find you're always working because you are gonna become popular and you are going to always have clients. When you're, six, when you're really good at being a hairstylist, clients come. You don't have to be greedy. Clients keep coming. They keep on coming. You don't even have to, you don't even have to try it for them. They just keep on coming. So don't overstress yourself when it comes to retaining clients. But as I said with my last point, make sure that you're very good with communication, excellent at customer service. Make sure that you give your clients the best service. If you give your clients the best service, they will keep on coming back and then you will definitely make 100K in a year from being a hairstylist. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope these tips were informative and they helped you out a little bit. These tips will definitely help improve your business. Even if you don't manage to make 100K, I definitely think that you will make double the amount of money that you're making at this current time. Definitely make sure that you invest time in educating yourself on how to make more money whilst working less. So for me, I made sure that I, I realized that I didn't want to stand there all day doing clients all the time. I love doing hair and I love seeing my clients, but at the end of the day, a pandemic came and just swept the whole of um, all of the hairdressers under the rug and basically said, you guys can't work. So you need to find other ways to make your money. 
Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more videos like these, please leave a big thumbs up and I'll be sure to make more of these. If you have any suggestions or any questions, comment them in the comment section below. I do read every single comment that is commented in the comment section below. So make sure you leave me a comment and I will see you guys in my next one. Mwah.